The holiday season is here and it's a great time of year to get together with family and friends. But while you're out shopping and you're looking for gift ideas, is getting a pet in specific a reptile a good gift idea? Well, stick around. For today's video, I'm going to be going over reasons why it possibly could be a good idea to get someone a pet as a gift, as well as reasons why it's probably not a good idea to get someone a pet as a gift. So, stick around. <music> My name is Nick Pulaski. Growing up, I have always had a passion for wildlife. And with that passion, along with my passion of filmmaking, I get taken on some amazing adventures creating wildlife content, getting up close with a variety of incredible animals. So come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty in our natural world. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me here today. It truly means the world to me. As you can see with the Santa hat, we are in holiday season. Love this time of year. It's always super exciting, and I love pulling out the hat and being St. Nick. Love pulling the St. Nick card. It's great having this name, that's for sure. But in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is do pets make great gifts, in specific reptiles, like my pied ball python here, Cookie. So we're going to be talking about if they do and if they don't. And I have points to make on both yes and no on this topic. It's always something that's very complicated, and it's from person to person so definitely take all this into consideration when you're deciding this for the person you are getting it for or if it's for yourself as well too this is great for any time of the year as well but in specific this time of year during holiday season you come across a lot of different deals like for example we just got off of black friday there was a whole bunch of deals on different stuff but also for pets as well too if you go into stores or you see things online where you see like half off or 25 percent off and stuff like that that also applies for pets too we've seen a whole bunch of different things for that and i saw a whole bunch last week as well too and that can be pretty tempting for some people but is it the right move to make and that's something that is totally a judgment call based on these things that I'm going to list over now the deals can be really tempting but are they the right deals to make it is something that you have to consider when you're getting something that is a live animal you always have to consider that because this isn't something like a toy where you could just basically play with it for a few months and then get bored with it this is something that is a long-term lifelong commitment so always keep that in mind we're gonna start this video off by going over why it could be a good idea to get someone a pet like a reptile as a gift and the reason being is if that person receiving the gift as well as other people that may potentially need to be on board as well too are 110 percent sure that this is going to be properly taken care of if all the needs are met beforehand like the cage and the equipment were already bought beforehand everything was all set up and properly made and all you need left is the animal to purchase and they have done enough thorough research prior to getting the animal that is when it's probably okay to get the new addition as a gift for the person that helps in assuring that they are 100% on board and that they are going to take care of the animal for the long run so that is always a great thing to make sure that they know what they're getting into beforehand and that's why it could be a good idea to get them that as a gift now another thing if you are going to get them a pet as a gift I think it definitely should be spoken about beforehand rather than just sprung upon them I know even if they have the setup and whatnot I definitely think that's something that is for sure needed to be gone over because also too maybe they want to pick out the animal in specific and maybe it's best if they pick out the animal in specific just because they are the ones that did the proper research and they are the ones that know what to look out for when purchasing an animal that they are looking at as well as other needs that they want to make sure that they know about that animal in specific as well too so that's why I think it's best to have the person on board and in communication when you're going to get that animal as a gift for them just making sure that they are in the loop with it and not just surprising them because it is a living animal and not just a toaster oven or something like that you know what I mean? So you want to make sure that they are for sure on board and able to take care of the animal and it is the animal that they do want. Now really that's basically the only scenario that I would say yes you should be getting this as a gift. I don't think there's any really other reason. If you guys have any other reasons maybe down below let me know but I can't think of any that else that come to mind when discussing if a reptile or a pet in general is a good gift idea. I just don't think personally if you don't have those two criteria met together it's not going to work out in the long run. So maybe you think of something else as a gift would be a great idea and that's kind of where we're going right now is into the no territory and what you can do instead with saying no that doesn't mean don't get the animal ever whatsoever it means no maybe it's just not the right timing or anything like that so what can you do instead well maybe if they're still working on their research and they're working on the requirements that they need maybe helping them out with the setup instead or the equipment that they would need is a better gift buying idea so helping them for say for a ball python maybe getting them the setup that they need 
and the equipment that they need, any different supplies and decor that they would need. That would be a great gift idea for sure. And I would definitely think that that would be something very appreciated as well, just as well as an animal itself would be, is just helping them out with those purchases. Just in supporting them in that aspect, I definitely think would be a great gift idea as well too. I would be happy with that gift as well. I mean, getting equipment and caging and everything like that, I mean, I think that would be great. So definitely consider that as well. While they're doing their research and getting everything properly set up beforehand, I definitely think that's a great idea. At the end of the day, you never want to take on an animal without meeting all its needs first. So you want to make sure that you have all the proper equipment. You want to make sure that its setup is all set up prior beforehand and everything is running properly, making sure that the temperatures are where they need to be, making sure that any equipment or decor or anything that you need is on stock and in hand and anything that you need to grab, you go get beforehand as well too. Definitely important for sure. I definitely think that it sets you up for success in the long run and it makes the keeping a lot easier. Not saying that there's not going to be challenges ever, but it definitely makes it easier when you are prepared beforehand. And everyone being on board too, I definitely think that's very important too. Say for example, if it is a kid getting into reptiles or pets in general, you definitely want to make sure that as the parent, if you're watching this video for your kid, you want to make sure that you're taking on that commitment as well just as much. And in general, you want to be thinking of a 15 plus year commitment for a pet. Can you be taking care of this animal in the long run? I know things happen and things do happen, but do you think you can meet this pet's needs in the long run? That is definitely a crucial question that you want to be asking yourself. It is definitely an important step, that's for sure. Because at the end of the day, this is a living, breathing animal and you are taking in a life in itself and it's a lifelong commitment. So definitely keep that in mind. Also too, when you're getting an animal, no matter if it's a gift or not, commonly you're getting that animal as a baby. So whether it's a baby snake or like a puppy or anything like that, you know, they're so cute they're so cuddly well I mean you normally don't cuddle a snake but you get what I mean you know I mean they're so adorable but then they grow up you know I mean this is still something that's manageable but maybe not for some right or like maybe even a puppy right I mean a puppy can be small and then it gets big you know and people are like whoa maybe I bit off more than I can chew and I can't really take care of this animal anymore I don't have the proper needs to take care of this animal for its entire adulthood life what it needs for a baby maybe you can take on but for as an adult maybe you can't handle the enclosure size it requires or maybe you can't handle the care that it requires if it requires larger meals, requires different prey items, anything like that. A whole bunch of different variations of needs that you want to keep in mind as well for the pet to see if you can also take care of it into its adulthood as well too for that 15 plus year commitment. And it's so hard because I see people get these animals as gifts, often as impulses, and then they get returned ultimately, or they get dumped at shelters. And it's so hard because at the end of the day, the animal doesn't know what's going on. They are in your care at the end of the day. So it's not their fault that this is happening to them and that they're in this situation and they're in this bind and hopefully they get sent to proper owners in the future but and it's a difficult thing when they get that impulsive buyer that buys this animal and can't take care of it so definitely be a responsible buyer that's for sure so definitely think about making the responsible choice whether it's yes or no because at the end of the day the animal like this ball python is relying on it now I have to say this because I am St. Nick, I mean I do give coal out to kids that are naughty, but at the end of the day, I mean, maybe if they can't take care of a pet, instead of giving them coal, you give them rocks and then they can just have a pet rock. I mean, that's a great alternative as well too. What do you think, buddy? Is a pet rock a good alternative? I think so. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. If you guys have any suggestions or any other comments that you wanna make down below, definitely leave those down below. I would love to hear those as well as any questions that you might have. I love answering those as well too. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I said, it's all about being a responsible pet owner at the end of the day. We all want to do the best for our animals and at least we should strive to. It's such a rewarding thing owning a pet in specific. It's so rewarding owning reptiles in my personal opinion is owning a bunch of reptiles as you can see around me. If you're new to the channel, definitely check out prior videos so you can learn all about this room and everyone in it. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's such a rewarding process if you can take care of the animal properly so if you can do that and you can meet its needs and all of its needs I have to say it's definitely something that can be rewarding in the long run now it will come with its challenges like I said before there's always going to be challenges with no matter what you do and what you have but if they are things that you are prepared for by doing your research beforehand and making sure that you are prepared that is something that is important so, but yeah guys definitely for this holiday season as well as really any season whatsoever definitely consider these things before giving a gift of a pet but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It truly means the world to me. If you guys could do me a few favors, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it as well as hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. And definitely check me out on my social media so you can keep in touch with me and all my reptiles as well too. It truly would mean the world to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and until next time, we will see you guys soon. Take care.